Good evening, sword punks. Hello and welcome to Kenshi. I'm Liz, where my riot squad is uh, is is ready ready to get down to some business. I'd like to begin by saying, if you ha want the latest details about what's going on on the channel, um, and you don't want to sort through all the videos of all the different series, so you see all the different comments and all that kind of nonsense, take a look at the links in the description of the video. That is the channel Discord and the Twitter link. Uh, so that's my Twitter account and the Discord for the channel. I post. Uh, announcements, updates, details about all kinds of things on both of those locations, and uh, you can track it back in time and find whatever you're looking for there. So, I, I love the pants, especially like, it, this was Nines, is it? Yeah, Nines is, no, yeah, 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 Nines is a giant. Like, good lord. And look at the shoulders, held so high. But the pants are awesome. Samurai cloth pants. We're going to, uh, outfit a lot of our people in samurai plate um the the um plate leggings or whatever soon and uh maybe even samurai armor or mercenary plate or something like that uh once we have chainmail shirts because then we can get some we, we can sort of distribute our people between like heavies that have you know big heavy weapons and big heavy plate and uh lights who have maybe something like this plate jacket and um uh, a helmet that doesn't affect their perception and maybe a crossbow in addition to their long sword and that kind of thing and get rid of the desert sabers and whatnot and um you know stealthers like ray and all that kind of thing anyway oh huh. in the last several episodes we went on an adventure to the lost library here we went on an adventure to the tech lab here uh both those videos were kind of poor quality then we had one or two videos i think it was two of um sort of searching through all these ruins for armories and libraries and stuff out in uh, the west here, southwest, and I think we've covered them all. There might still be something out here that we missed, and if we did, we'll probably get a map location for it eventually, and we'll come to it and whatever. And honestly, the game could have to be imported sometime, and when you import the game because of like a patch or whatever, all of these become refreshed. Um, they don't respawn normally, they only respawn if you restart your game, as in import. Uh, and I, I'm not a fan of necessarily going back to sites you've been to after you import. I definitely don't like to, you know, camp a trader uh, like Black Desert City for their um, their stuff after imports, their engineering research, which I'm not sure ever respawns. It might. But I mean, if you import, you have a good chance. You can just import, 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 import as much as you want and just keep it respawning at your own timetable. I don't like camping them for that. But, uh, I mean, I would definitely be willing ugh, to revisit the area again sometime, maybe, if we do have to do an import. Um, for the time being, though, we are on our way through to this way station and Clown Steady. And then we're heading north through the swamp ruins that we discovered recently from a map. And then we're probably going to head out into the spider plains and head up through uh, the other way station back to Venture, where I can start using all of this research. Does Ray have any of it? Yeah, so Ray's got three ancient science books on her and a lot of regular books. But uh, Ruka has a whole pile of ancient science as well, as well as some decent uh, other weapons, in particular this foreign saber. I'm not as interested in this horse dropper. Although it is still a Model Mark III, I'm really interested in this foreign saber, though. And we've got this really sweet left arm. Ooh, 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 hold on. The left arm is the arm we need. So Inu's arm gives her 9% dex. The unarmed damage bonus doesn't really matter. Swimming, thievery, and lockpicking penalties, which I don't care. 125 HP. Pace also has the exact same arm. But... This gives us 10% strength and 10% dex, has way more max HP. I mean, I could give this to one of them as just a straight upgrade, basically. That That's possible. I'm going to hold on to it for now. I mean, if we have, like, an unarmed character in the future, we definitely want to be able to use it for them. But um, for the time being, let's continue our quest. Oh. Big ol' yawns. I have not been sleeping well lately, and it is entirely my fault. But, um, it is entirely my fault as a result of Kenshi. I've been... I, I don't have a lot of time to play games and, uh, record. As a lot of you probably know. Oh, we were running low on food, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's holding on to a bunch of food. Who is it? 
Nope, not you, Mortez. Who is holding on to all of my food? It's not ice. I think we distributed all of her food. Um, somebody had a bunch, though. Paste? Is it you? Yeah, Paste has some food. I might have to cook this food up. It could probably wait till we get to the way station, though. Anyway, I haven't been sleeping extremely well lately because um, I don't have a lot of time to play games and record them. Um, I have a little bit more time to like grind at games when like the kids are up and uh, they're running around screaming and yelling and playing and having fun and all that stuff and the wife wants attention every now and then and blah 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 blah. Um, but I can't really record then. It, it just doesn't work. And I don't really have a ton of time there either. I just have some time. Um, if I didn't know any better, I'd say these guys look like escaped slaves. Attack me, bro. Come at me, bro. Yeah. Come at me, bro. Sell them off to the traders. Ought to bring us some quick cats. So... Are you kidding me? There's five of you. You're like half naked. You have very poor skills. Like you you have you have skills that are worse than what we were when all I did was train on training dummies before I actually had my people come out and fight. And you think that you could enslave like the riot squad. Like look at this is the riot squad. Can you see these guys? This is ridiculous. You guys are clowns. We should probably use our long swords for this, because they are uh, humans, but I mean, whatever. Oh, they've got a slave, though. Wonder who they have. Can't be a, no, it looks like a, looks like a, an outlaw farmer. So they have a few more than five. They had a few stragglers behind them. Yeah, outlaw farmer. Outlaw farmer slave. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I don't care if they're slaves. Uh, fix us up, guys. Make sure hold is off. We took some minimal damage. Yeah, minimal damage. Let's continue along our way. Stupid slave hunters. Um, yeah, anyway, I, uh, I don't have that much time, and I... That's not the right direction at all. That's the direction we want to go. And I uh, have been spending the time that I have to play um, when the kids are up doing like the background grindy stuff in this game, like when we were doing a lot of base work and a lot of uh, just like crafting, where we're sitting there for a lot of time, not doing a whole lot. Uh, and I have been spending a lot of the time that I have to record playing this game, but. I've also been uh, sort of extending the time I have to record by just not, not, not sleeping. <laughs> and don't do that, guys. It's really, it's really not good. Like if you're super excited about something and you're gonna stay up late for it, like once or twice even, that's really awesome. But when you when you get like four hours of sleep every day for two weeks straight because of something, it might be unhealthy. And uh, you you should probably. You should probably evaluate that situation for your own personal context, but oh man, I've just been loving Kenshi lately. I, it's, oh, I was paying so much attention to it for so long and was so excited by it and had so much doubt and skepticism about this game that it would ever actually happen and seeing it in a state where it's almost done and it's super eminently playable and all that kind of stuff is just fantastic. It, it's it's really good. Definitely, uh, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, it's currently probably my pick for 2018. We have uh, some manhunters over here. I think manhunters might try and sell you into slavery potentially as well. Uh, they're supposed to look for like. Yeah, they, they shouldn't be an issue, but I think there is an event where one of them might run up to you and I'll be like, hey, you think we could pass this guy off as an escaped slave or something? Let's, uh, let's follow Hobbs for a little while. 
And let's slow the speed down. We're, we're, we're approaching the way station now. It's funny how we haven't really found any other opponents along this quick little section here. I am sort of paying attention. I mean, we got 20 guys. We're really well equipped. I mean, we could, we could have heavier armor, but for the type of armor we have, we've got Masterwork and Specialist Black Plate Jackets. Like, that's pretty sweet. And we've got Police Helmets. That's pretty sweet. And Samurai Cloth Pants. Again, master uh, Masterwork and Specialist. That is just pretty sweet. Probably take a look at this bar and buy some food, even. We'll certainly sell the stuff we have because we do have a lot of stuff to sell. But I'll probably uh, probably look into buying some food in here too, just to sort of supplement my supply. I don't know how much money they're gonna have. They're they're not gonna have enough money for everything we've got. We're definitely not selling like AI cores and stuff, but we can sell our. Uh, we can certainly sell a whole bunch of stuff like Lort. You could sell these CPU units. These aren't needed for anything. And you're already... You're already maxed. Like, that's how ridiculous it is. We'll sell these motors. We don't really care about them. We can sell the copper alloy. Honestly, I'm going to sell these skins as well because I don't really need them. And then what do we want to buy? Do you have anything I want to buy? Okay, we could get advanced outpost blueprints. I mean, it's 15,000. I need a, I need, oh crap. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll, we'll just sell the skins as well. Why not? Um, no, I think I'll keep all of that. We can store it if we're not gonna use it. Ice, Ice had some more skins and that's it. Like we're, we're done, we're, we're out of money. Like they don't have anything else to, and I don't wanna buy any of this stuff, so. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And let's take a peek at the bar real quick. Was there anybody in the bar we wanted? I mean, the squad is full, but I can still hire technically 10 more people. They just have to be in a different squad. There are lots of people here. It looks like several of them can be hired. Flotsam Ninja. Cool. Have We We haven't actually been to Flotsam yet, Zoo Attack Hunter. Have we? No, we certainly haven't. Flotsam should be right in here. We're going to have to go... Uh, we haven't gotten up there at all. We, there's a lot of the map we haven't explored yet, guys. We've only gotten to a tiny little bit of it. So if you're like, oh, well, we've now done our adventure. We've seen it all. Blah, blah, blah. No, there's a crap ton left in this game. We, we, we're, we've even been in Bug King neighborhood or Bug Man neighborhood, and we haven't, uh, we haven't fought him yet. So we've got tons left to do. Okay, you can have these, and you're basically out of money again. I mean, I can get a trader's wooden backpack from you. Do I care? Not really. We could buy food from you, and it can all go to Hobbs. I mean, I could buy other food from you. Why not? Hobbs. Hobbs, me bro. Put all this food in your damn backpack now. I can't just like right click on it because right clicking on it would sell it. And I don't want to go out of his inventory right now. So let's just drag it. Um, yeah, I tell you what, buy, buy all these food cubes, buy all these, buy all this. It's everything they got. That uh, was 15 grand basically in food that we just bought. That's insane is what that is. How valuable food, oh, we have to research that. How unbelievable food can be. I've got some of those for ya. Mortez had a whole bunch more, yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. There, they have 31 cats left. They don't have any money. We're up to 113,548 cats, ladies and gentlemen. That ain't bad. And we've got some food again. So since we have food, and it's actually pretty um, nourishing food, some of it, uh, it, it gives us quite a bit of nutrition. I think we're just going to continue heading north without cooking yet. Ah, screw it. You know what? I'm just going to cook up 
uh, what we have really quick on uh, who's got it. It's um, paste, right? So let's let's find how far away I can set up a fire here. All right, we'll do it right here. And uh, we will go cook up our food. I'll be back. Okay, we've got our food cooked up. Let's continue our journey. What's our uh, stock look like now? Not too shabby. So uh, we're, we're going to pass by Clan Steady here. Honestly, you know, I, this is we probably could just cut at this point until we have something interesting happen. Uh, who is this? Tech Hunter? Shinobi? Wandering Assassin. Shinobi Thieves. Fantastic. I love me the Shinobi Thieves. They were one of our first friends in this place. Like the people of uh, the, the Shek of um, Squin were not really our friends. We, we sort of took shelter there and they accepted us because, you know, Liztek was the thriving enterprise that uh, kept their town afloat in tough times. Outlaw swordsman, no problem. But um, so, so they accepted us, they welcomed us and all that kind of nonsense, but uh, it wasn't anything, it wasn't anything that you could call friendship. They, they, they didn't appreciate us at all. The Shinobi Thieves were our first friends, and were, were they actually friends as well? Yeah, they, they're taking a new slave home. Yeah, were, were the Shinobi Thieves actually our friends as well, or were they, uh... Ooh, wait, hold on. Oh, that's a bone dog. Okay, that's why. Paste, where are you going? Move order. Turret guard. There's a turret in here that you're allowed to operate? Maybe the Shinobi Thieves have one? I, I don't... I don't get it. I don't get why you're moving to be a turret guard. Um, obviously you have jobs turned on. Yeah, so you have jobs turned on. Nobody should have jobs turned on. That's silly. But if you operate their stuff... Like, if you operate a trading dummy in a um, barracks that doesn't belong to you, they attack you and knock you out and capture you, and they may sell you into slavery depending on where it is potentially like that's some dangerous crap all right so we want to head over this and towards the ruins and this is pretty much the bearing that we want to take to get there pretty much straight this way so uh we'll be back look who i see it's one of my favorites yep they are some of my favorite it's like in subnautica with the what are they called ridgebacks or whatever and when they like honk to you and you just gotta honk back to them we see ourselves some swamp turtles we just gotta honk and by honk I mean attack unprovoked there was a time when if you attacked an animal unprovoked or you attacked an animal from a million miles away they recognized that you attacked them immediately and started chasing after you to go into combat four damage we took four six oh god I love it look at those numbers oh my god he is totally bloodied we are just murdering these guys. I love Swamp Turtle so much. I love them so much. I want a pet Swamp Turtle. Oh, that's why you guys are running this way. There's oh, one, two, three, four, five more. At least five more. Yes. Yes. Guys, guys, make it so. Make it so. Inu. I'm uh, going to have you pull back for a second and collect some meat please like that's incredible oh that's ugly better than you better you than me I guess it's a wound okay he's talking about a wound everybody let's get in here attack unprovoked all of these turtles and let's take them down hot lungs and Marissa are just laying the herd into this first one like, look at that. The head is half dead. The stomach, half dead. Like, th these hits are huge. These aren't even spiders. We don't even have bonuses against these guys. I mean, they are only in the 50s, so it's not that ridiculous. It's pretty good. Uh, but eventually, we're going to get our skills high enough and our strength high enough and our decks high enough and all that that we're going to get into, like, 
the the hundreds basically with our hits and get good enough weapons as well that we'll be in like the hundreds with our hits and that that my friends will be the day yeah so that that little food dilemma that we were having we're not having no food dilemma anymore god i love swamp turtles if swamp turtles had a piece of animal skin on them they would be just the perfect perfect prey and look at this hardly any wounds from that i mean the downside is they're not really great so you're not going to skill up a lot fighting them you're not going to get your toughness up because honestly swamp turtles can't beat the crap out of you there's no way that a swamp turtle is going to beat the crap out of you unless you're like you know brand new and all you have is a shitty rusted club and you've got like one strength and like one melee combat ability um <laughs> they're easier than a goat basically honestly do you do you guys I, don't, I think it was on camera but at the beginning of this playthrough like one of the first things that we sort of uh, attacked as a group when I had like seven or eight people was this herd of goats and I was like uh, they're pro I was honestly like they're probably gonna kick our ass but who knows maybe we'll beat them and hey guess what goats don't eat you goats don't uh, try and kill you they just knock you out and then move along so goats are the great goats are fantastic if anything's just gonna knock us out we want it to be goats we got some blood spiders here. Look at that. See, this is why I say spiders are so easy to take out. They have 28 HP on blood spiders. All you need to do is hit them in the right spot. And we hit them with a 50% bonus because they're considered small spiders. But then look when they hit us. 53 damage for that one hit. That's insanity. Like, those giant turtles don't hit us for anything, right? We, we can just murder horde after horde after horde of those turtles and everything is fine but you know a few blood spiders and we're just in absolutely terrible condition all right to me that indicates that there's probably going to be more blood spiders in the neighborhood i'm actually surprised to see blood spiders i sort of would have expected that we would have seen skin spiders oh oh Oh, it's magic. So guys, if you need food, come north of Clownsteady. Just prowl this land north of Clownsteady because, hey, hey, it's magic, you know. Everybody get in there. Just go ape. Take this first one down and then just spread out and get the whole herd. Like, look at that. Yeah, you hit him, Sand. There's more, guys. There's more. Just, I, I'd laugh if there were so many of them, they knock us out. Like, look at all this red. Oh, my God, there's so much red. There is actually so much red, guys. The red is real. There's so much green as well, but there's way more red than I was expecting. Look at that, though. Like, we're taking so many hits, and we're not taking that much damage. We're, we're taking an appropriate amount of damage, given the number of hits we're taking. but uh, it wasn't very much. And no, we're not just going to leave these corpses here. We're just going to patch ourselves up once Inu's patched up. She's going to go start looting, and we're going to need to get somebody else involved in this too. I think we got them all. So Ice is almost full, and Inu is all full up, which is fantastic. So Inu, you can actually just take your backpack off now and carry it that way. And Ice, honestly, you can take your backpack off too. Let's keep our combat skill high. It's going to encumber us a little bit more, but I'm fine with being encumbered. Let's just all move together. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. It's great. So we're going to be entering the Svamp soon, and I'm not really a fan of entering the Svamp, as you guys know. Although our people are significantly tougher than the last time we were in the Swamp. Um, and by that I mean, like, we it it's night and day. We, we went and fought beak things, and then we fought iron spiders and security spiders and we fought uh, gorillas and more spiders, skin spiders left, right, and center. Like we've, we've fought and fought. Maybe not like mad people, but we have certainly fought significant amounts. Swamp ninjas. Okay, how many? Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six swamp ninjas. 
And they've got masks. We could get ourselves some fog masks. Or whatever kind of mask that is. Thing is, we're approaching the swamps, and um, there's going to be more swamp ninjas. Do we want to make enemies of the swamp ninjas right now? Honestly, I don't really hate the idea. I mean, we'll head down this direction, and if they if they want to tangle, we'll tangle. If they don't want to tangle, whatever. I'm I'm all about uh, I'm all about taking out people who decide that they want to mess with us. So hey, swamp ninjas. Are we your friends or are we your foes? You let us know. Make them feel pain and strip them. Strip the flesh and salt the... What do you got? Looks like you've got a katana of some form. Maybe a nadaichi. A nadachi? Yeah, it looks like. Let's get in there. Namtram. Oh yeah. Even with our desert sabers, we have enough decks now that we can actually like swing them. So we don't need to switch to our long swords. This we can handle. The swamp ninjas are a little tougher than some of the humans that we face so far, but uh, they don't have the best gear in the world. And yeah, you can see like four damage for some of these hits. Thirteen. We're well protected. We're well protected is what we are, and we're starting to get the skills to pay the bills. Looks like they had a crossbow, maybe? Yeah, crossbow. Looks like he's got a katana as well. Come on, guys. Hotlong's got back up. His stomach is what's hurting. That's okay. He'll be fine. Where was this guy planning on going? Ooh, he runs right to Thok. I guess he doesn't like skeletons. Mortez. No, swing and a miss. Stork. Oh, swing with the autosave. Stork, that's a block. We get in there. We miss. Lork, Mortez, nothing. Okay, and then we finally get in and give him a good whack. Whack a dude, will take him down. That's everybody. All right. Link up, guys. Ruka. Somebody patch Ruka up. Good. Now, Ruka, go take a look at these ninjas for me, please. Yeah, so they have Swamp Ninja masks. I mean, this is part of their uniform. We could steal... Like, I don't want to steal their uniform. Like, these Ninja Blades aren't that good either. We can steal all their med kits, their crappy toothpicks with their crappy toothpick bolts. I mean, I'm not really caring that much about the... Let's get up here and take a peek at these guys. We'll take their Ninja Blades. There might be a more elite guy who's got a slightly better ninja blade that we can take. I am sort of a fan of ninja blades. I probably shouldn't be. They're not really very good. Like, the idea is a ninja blade is small enough to fit in your weapon 2 slot, and it's very light. Like, it is actually very light. Its weight is 0 kilograms. But honestly, if you want a really small, really light weapon, the Wakazashi is better in every way, is it not? Like... And it, it's a katana class as well. And is it is it not? It is better in every way, is it not? I don't know. I might just be crazy, but um, I would. It's been a while since I've looked at their stats, but the ninja blade is just. It's neat and all. I think the ninja blade would be cool if you... So there's an assassination move that you can do, and the assassination move results in people uh, getting knocked out because you, you, you hit them in the back of the head from stealth, and you knock them out, and they go cold, and you... Uh, well, I guess they don't go cold. You, you knock them cold, and they... Uh, they're, they're knocked out for a brief period of time. I don't know. Count from 60, count from 9, whatever. I don't, I don't know exactly what the math that determines how long it is. is. But I, I get... I, I wish that... You know how when people are on the ground and they're bleeding out or they're dying or something, you can't just kill them. You have to wait till they get back up before you can attack them again. I feel like if you have a ninja blade equipped in your secondary weapon slot, like the nice quick straight blade, straight ninja blade, um, these guys here, nice light quick one, that you should be able to pull it out and execute somebody who's defenseless. Look at these swamp turtles. Oh man. I want them. I'm not going to go after those ones because I just killed two packs of swamp turtles and have a ton of meat as a result. I had like two full backpacks of food, but uh, I, I want those swamp turtles, man. I do, I do. Anyway, I feel that um, when somebody's unconscious, you should be able to execute them if you have a ninja blade or maybe even a wakazashi as well, but the ninja blade specifically. 
And, uh... Ooh, a ruins. Another ruins. Where? Where? Is it this one? Because I knew about this one, and that's too far away. Is it this one? This one was on my map already. And usually when you get to discovered whatever, it's not that far away from you. I don't see anything on my map, and I don't see anything in the neighborhood, though, so... Was it that? Let's, let's get up here, and we'll sort of survey the situation. Um, anyway, yeah, I feel like if you got the Ninja Blade, it should allow the ability to do executions like that. When people... Maybe when they're knocked out in general. What are we under attack by? Oh, ninjas. Didn't even see them. Guys, guys, we have swamp ninjas. We need to take out some swamp ninjas. Actually, these ones are better than the previous ones. Oh boy, are these guys better. These guys are comparable to us. And we have, you know, 20, or we have 20 people, and they've got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we're wounded a little bit, so that is a big deal. If we had our long swords, this would be an easier fight, I think. But we should still be able to take them with the sabers. We might take a little bit of injury, but uh, it shouldn't be that bad. Paste and Hobbs cleaning up this guy. He, had, he was the crossbow man. Oh, there's another one down here. Sand and I run to take on this guy. Oh, there's another coming in. Paste, hot lungs, and little this time. Looks like the guys back up there are cleaned up, and they're they're coming in to help out. Um, nobody is down yet, so that's good. This guy was defending like a champ here. Unfortunately for them, they are all equipped with katanas, and katanas are very poor defensive weapons. You you very rarely block when you're using a katana, like a katana class weapon, which is what the ninja blades are. You you tend to uh, you tend to attack more. And that's actually what the Guardless Katana does. Uh, it has plus 6 attack and minus 6 defense. And the specific reason for that is because if you have more attack, you're going to attack. If you have less defense, you're not going to block. And if you're not blocking, you can be attacking. Like, having lower defense is actually good for your offensive ability. Because uh, it means that you swing more. And if you have a really good attack and you really get in there a lot and you hit a lot as a result of it, and you've got a good weapon that could do lots of damage really quickly, but we have to patch up, then uh, that's good. Yeah, we actually took some decent size hits there on some people. It's like little piecemeal on some, but some of our people took some decent size hits, like me, for example. Ooh, Nines is hurting a little bit. See, the thing about going into the swamp in this situation is I don't want... Oh, oh my god. This is what I do not want to face right now. Oh my goodness. By the way, guys, um, as we look on this uh, small swarm of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blood spiders, I would just like you to take this opportunity to uh, think and consider, have you checked inside of the, uh, the, 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 the ear pieces of your headphones for spiders recently? Yeah, I, I think you should probably take care of that now because uh, see that face? See that face? Oh boy. That face could be in there crawling all over your ears right now. Anyway, now that we've freaked out the entire audience, I want to rest here. I think I want to rest here. But these ninjas are going to get back up, so if I do rest here, I'm going to have to steal their weapons or something. How far am I from a village? There's a village just northeast of the ruins. I'm surprised I didn't discover those ruins before now. Let's get down here and probably get attacked by that group of blood spiders because I'm an idiot and I'm probably walking right into them like a tool. But for the time being, let's move. Forward, tool! Yeah, everybody's together. It's hard to tell when you got 20 people sometimes if everybody's together, so I go to the map and I see where the blue dots are. If there's a blue dot that is clearly lagging behind everybody else, it's pretty obvious that... Uh, they are behind you and you need to get them up. And I don't mean 
in the naughty, dirty way that Ice likes to get Hobbs up. Oh, my apologies, ladies and gentlemen, my apologies. It's so lewd. It's so lewd. Um, a lot of the characters have unique uh, dialogue. Like, we've seen a lot of dialogue from Hobbs, but a, a lot of the characters that are unique, like the ones that aren't um, just totally randomly generated, but have uh, uh, particular backstories and particular things that you can talk to about when you recruit them and all those kinds of things, um, they have uh, a lot of special dialogue that they say. I'm pretty sure the people in Flotsam, for example, most of them are unique. Um, Hobbs is obviously a unique character, a unique recruit. There's a lot of them. There's a very unique robot uh, skeleton that you can recruit from this tower as well, who, who, who's too old. He's seen the world, and he just wants one last adventure. We'll get to him eventually. We'll get to him eventually. For the time being, though, we are trekking through the swamps, and I am en route to this new ruin. We got a red sabers group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven red sabers. Um, yeah, I'll fight you, but I'm going to sort of wait for this one guy to come at us first. One or two guys. I will definitely take an advantage that they give us by not coming at us as a group and allowing us a few extra attacks on these first two people. I will take that any day. Well, not any day, but I will definitely take that today. This red saber is uh, is hurting mighty fast. I can't even select him, but yeah, he's hurting. He's hurting more and more as we go here. Are the others coming? Yeah, the others are coming. Guys, get in here. As we experience an auto save, bring this one down, please. Cool. Now let's spread out. We're, I can I can definitely see somebody getting knocked out here. Red sabers can hit pretty hard potentially, but look at this! Like they're not even hitting us. We're defending everything. They're not even getting a blow to connect. Okay, there's one for eight. Ooh, look at what we negated on that. That's insane how well we can negate some of this damage. And we cleaned them up. So nobody down. If we take a peek at them, I think I think we've looted red sabers before. They're not that special. And actually our inventory is pretty full, so I'm not even going to steal their crappy sabers. I can repair this. Don't move. Oh, Thok is damaged? No. Inu? No. Paste? I don't know. Maybe it was medical stuff, but uh, whatever. Let's keep moving. We took a little bit of damage there. Like, our damage is adding up. We are getting attritioned. We are not stopping the heals, so we are adding up our damage. And our people are... Like, it looks like they're good to go. It looks like they're fine. It looks like they can go in this battle and fight. But they'll go down a lot quicker than you expect when they're half dead already. So we do have to be careful in that respect. But we, we are approaching the ruins, and uh, I'm expecting that they're probably going to be infested with spiders. Because, I mean, this is the swamp, and it's a ruin in the swamp, and what else are they going to be infested with? I mean, red sabers? Psh, right. Alrighty. This is quite an interesting ruin that we're approaching. Like, check that out. What the hell is that? This isn't, I don't think this is the actual location, the point of interest, but it's it's right before it. Like, it, it's in its neighborhood. Like, what the hell is this thing? This is one of the wonderful things about Kenshi, though, like, the world. There's the emergent storytelling and all this fascinating stuff, but one of the stars of this is the world, because you, you can have this great character-driven storyline that you develop for yourself with your characters that exists in this world, and I'd like to point out that the very first episode of Kenshi, uh, the first, like, episode one, this is episode 31, so this is a month in to me releasing Kenshi right now. The very first episode just released on YouTube today. Like, I, I recorded, like, 26 episodes before I even started uh, processing my videos. And <laughs> that's how quickly this has happened, guys. And, and how much time I've been staying up. Um, and, uh... 
the first episode just went up today. No comments yet either, like 20 views. Just went, like literally just went up. 20 views um, and no comments so far. Let's, let's get that to, you know, 2,000 lickety split, guys. Lickety split. Let's get in here. Okay, so we're just outside the Swamp Room, and it's right here. You can see it uh, through there. Um, and there are red sabers patrolling around it. There's a group of them right here. Looks like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 maybe red sabers. I mean, red sabers aren't aren't weak. They're, they're, they can be kind of tough. Where's the entrance to this guy? There, there should be a ramp somewhere. Is it way around on the other side? Is that where it is? Come on, show me your ramp. It's over here. Okay, so it's actually back this way. It's the opposite direction from the red sabers. I mean, we're going to come this way. I haven't seen any spiders. The fact that there's red sabers patrolling it is good. Um, you'll note that the type of building it is is fascinating. The type of building it is means it could have a potentially security spot. What is it? It's a swamped lab. So it's not an armory. It's not a... It's a lab. I'm not sure what's going to be in it. There could be potentially security spiders in this, but uh, I don't know. If there... Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, I saw skittering. I saw skittering. That looks like... Spi oh, yeah. That's blood spiders. There's blood spiders inside the gate. So that's something. We'll definitely have to fight them off. I think we'll fight them off in our current state, and then we'll close the door behind us and we'll heal up. Because... Uh, Once we're in, oh god, what if it's full of spiders? And I don't mean security spiders, I mean what if it's full of blood spiders? Uh, guys, guys, if this thing is full of blood spiders, I am going to be so PO'd. We're in combat with guys that we can't actually attack. Fascinating. Let's pick this! 36.2%. We're going to get it one of these days. Keep at it, Ray. There we go. All right, let's uh let's break stealth. Let's open the door. Hello. It's a me. There's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 at least 10 blood spiders here. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's more, like, inside or something like that. Everybody! Get- oh my god, why are you not in there fighting? Come on, get- get in. You're all still in sneak. Why are you in sneak? You all need to be in here attacking all. Inu is down. And hurting bad. Okay, everybody needs to get in here. Inu, Inu's actually going to be up quickly. Like, she's hurting bad. Her chest is negative. But she will be up in, like, 30 seconds. Um, in the meantime, somebody, anybody, I don't care who, hot longs. Okay, everybody, clear, clear the gate. Faster, faster. Thank you. Okay, Marissa, because your legs are in good shape and you're not actually damaged right now. Uh, we need you to really quickly get out of the group, come here and loot these guys, because I don't need them getting back up again. If we can remove like 10 or 11 spiders from the world, you know, better for us. Again, it's not an arachnophobia thing, it's a these spiders hit like freaking trucks and they can kill us very easily like if they attack us twice right and they get two lucky hits to the same location that location is going to take like 160 or like 100 to 120 damage basically like that's insane like Inu's chest is currently at minus 8 so if Inu fought a group of spiders right now like she's standing back up again if she got in combat and fought a group of spiders and they did um, two attacks and they both hit her for 50 in the chest 
she'd take 100 to the chest, she'd be at minus 108, she'd be dead right here. That's it. Like, she would be done. And there's nothing we would have been able to do about it other than prevent her from getting into the battle in the first place. Okay, so I'm going to set up some beds and have my people rest here inside the gate in the swamp, and we will be back to explore this site. We have spiders trying to blow down the gate. Those assholes. My people are healing up, actually. Uh, Stork is the only one left, and these spiders are trying to knock down the gate. I was actually thinking to myself, you know, spiders will just end up respawning, like right here, and we're gonna end up having to fight them again, so what the hell is Lort doing? He's like glitching up up and down on this. Yeah, get get off the ramp. Get over here. Open the door. And then everybody, attack. Like, that's not terrifying at all. You open the door and you find a bunch of spiders there. We cleaned them out pretty easy, but I mean... They, uh... They did hurt us. Let's go and uh, loot these. Which ones are alive still? Ugh, oh, that's so annoying. Maybe they're all dead. Maybe I maybe I just hit those ones so hard I killed them, like outright killed them. I mean, I imagine that's conceivable. It's still at forty-two. It's still at a lot of health. So we took we took some hurt as a result of that. Hobbs took a nice big old hit here. So let's have Hobbs go lay down again. Um, Mortez, you took a big old hit. Ruka's fine. She can come with us inside. Stork, you can go lay down. I don't want anybody who took a big enough hit that they're really potentially going to be in danger of dying to come in here. So you guys go here and you can hold. Um, everybody else will also engage hold for the time being. And we're going to have Ray go into stealthy wealthy mode. And in stealthy wealthy mode we're going to take a peek at what's inside of this building. Can we look inside here? No we can't. We have to go around the other way. Of course we do. Liz, why would you bother trying? Like, it, it, they make it so unintuitive which door it is that you have to go into. Okay. Are there sexy spiders in here? No. 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 Okay, it appears there might not be any security spiders in this facility, and if that's the case, Thank you, devs. Uh, we're going to have Ray stealth around, though, anyway. Oh, her inventory is really full. Like, really, really full. Um, still, she will persist. Actually, Sand, come on in here and trade with Ray real quick. Hi! I'm a Sand. Wow. Okay, that's Ray's backpack. I was like, wow, that's that's ridiculous how much stuff you have. I know Sand has some stuff, but uh, not that much. So please take all the chain. Please take these big guys here and the leather. I'm holding shift. There we go. And the leather. And take a bunch of these regular old research books because they're consuming a good amount of space. And, uh, you know, Ray can keep these ones. Why not? She can also have the med kit over here. Okay, thank you, Sand. Ray, back to business. Where you at, girl? Yes, Ray is my goddess. I don't even know why. It's just, it, it is, there's something so satisfying about, you know, sneaking into everything and lockpicking everything and actually being able to do all this stuff. We should probably go pick up this book. We can't pick up that book. It It's not in range of picking it up. Like it's it's actually inside here beyond okay, if you go right here, Ray from right here, can you get it? Like can we cheatsy doodle the game into thinking you're close enough? Yeah we can. Oh yeah. She couldn't pathfind to it, but she could take it from there. Uh, I don't think there's any other chests on this floor, right? Are these all security spider like bodies as well? 
Like, we should be able to loot these kinds of things and build our own security spiders. One thing I always thought about this game is, like, um, there's pack animals, like there's pack garu and pack bulls, right? You should be able to make pack security spiders as well, or pack spiders, in case you're playing, like, a, a skeleton playthrough or something and you want to have uh, all machines and you don't want anything but machines. These are research benches. I will look inside of them. I've never seen anything inside of machines. I think I've said that before at this point. But uh, I'll definitely take a peek. I love the Naruto run. Like, really, guys. Really. Hands up in the air, like palms up and everything. Uh, okay, so this is electronics components. We don't give a crap about this chest. I don't actually want those. Robotics bench? No. This is robotics bench? Nope. Um, this guy here is an electrical workbench? Nope. We want, like, general storage crates and stuff like that. There's some steel storage over here. This is more electronics components. These are steel storage. I mean, it's got some steel, but I'm going to be able to make steel myself soon. And then more electronics components over here. So there's a lot of, like, material in this uh, second floor, but nothing really of value. So the first floor and the second floor of this type of building, uh, not so good. The third floor, though, if I recall correctly, has some good juicy yummy goodies in it. Yeah, this this whole section here is full of yum yum. There's the generators for power and then there's the yum yum. Come on. Come on, get me to the yum yum. I want more yum yum. We haven't been attacked by more spiders yet, so yay. A press and some electronics, some components, nothing of value there. Three crates here. Alright, what's in them? Contestant number one. Tools. Okay, two. Tools. Three. Advanced first aid kit. I'll take that. We can pick this lock. Let's pick the lock. 90% chance. That went nice and quick. We've got ourselves medical supplies. Yay! This has been such a great facility so far. I think the last one of these facilities we found multiple AI cores in. So, I mean, we can still possibly come across them. Oh, wow, we can really pick from far away. Wow. That's insanity. Okay, ancient research. That's good. Ancient science is definitely sweet. This chest here might have something good. What's it got? What's it got? Oh, Ooh, ancient science. Yeah, we'll take those. These skeleton repair kits are worth good money. Robotics components, generator cores, power... Four power cores? Wow. Um, sand, Ruka. Yeah, Ruka, come on in and trade with Ray. Like, lickety split, please. Get in here. Okay, so what do I want on Ruka? We want to take all of these because she can fit them. Honestly, I don't want to put the power cores in there, so we're not going to. Um, she can fit one of those. Another skeleton muscle if we had it, but we don't. So I guess that's it for her. Sand doesn't really have much space left either. Who, especially if you have like a thief's backpack, because that reduces the encumbrance. Nines. Nines is our medic, so she's been carrying our medical supplies, but she still has a lot of space. Let's get you in here and trade with Ray real quick. Nines to the rescue. Here we go. So yeah, let's take these med kits, and then you can start taking some other supplies as well. Like, for example some generator cores good okay that's better <laughs> Ray what else was in here oh god Ruka I mean you can carry one more okay Ruka take that um, I brought nines in as well you can take that okay good Wow, that, that, was, that was good for money. Even if it wasn't great for research, that was pretty sweet.
for money. All of those are the same thing. These are medi medical chests, but uh, Ray is broken. Oh, I'm paused. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? But uh, there could be good med supplies in them, so we are going to take a look at them. Let's take a peek at this guy. Another full-size splint kit. Let's pick the lock. Oh, looks like there might be a spider attacking the door, guys. Nothing in... Oh, it was this one. There's a motor and some armor plates. Do not care. Tools. Don't really care. Let's pick this. Very low percentage. We're going to be here for a while. That spider is going to be there for a while. Ooh. Three ancient research. Wowzers. Wowzers. This is... This is a pretty good site. It started out pretty poor, but this has turned into a pretty sweet site. Yeah, don't care about that. And now we have to look at this big old pile of junk in the middle of the room. I need I need somebody else up here. I'm going to need somebody else who's got a backpack. Uh, paste. Do you still have space? Yeah, you got a bit of space. Paste, come on up here. I'm going to have to bring some other people up as well. I'm going to have to distribute the loot amongst various people here, because there's no way... Like, look at that. He's basically full now, too. They stack? Oh, good. They do stack. I was pretty sure that splint gets stacked. Oh, <laughs> my... Wasn't even expecting to find three more ancient research here, but I will take that. Fantastic. And then there's three more of these on the other side. Or two more on the other side. Okay, big ol' med kit. And what's in this one? Nothing. Wow. Wowzers. That site was worth it, ladies and gents. That site was worth it. Um, let's have everybody meet down here. And I'm going to... Yeah, the gate's still got lots of life. I'm going to take apart these sleeping bags, and we're going to pick them up. All right, we're out. It's time to run for the hills now. I'm going to escape out into the spider plains here, then head north to venture. And we will probably resume our playthrough at that point, because I doubt anything is going to happen in the swamp that uh, is going to be that noteworthy until then. So thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. I have been Liz. This has been Kenshi, and we have just finished, like... We, we went on, like, another adventure prior to this, but I think we, we, we just sort of wrapped up our first serious, like, long-term long adventure. Okay, maybe our second, but our... Like, th this one was our most profitable adventure yet. The first one was our, our adventure light. It was introduction to adventuring. Uh, this one, though, is, is, is the real deal. If this was Dan Machi, the first one would be, like, you know... We, we took out the Minotaur. Yay! Good job, guys. Uh, this one is like, you know, volume 12 or volume 13 where, uh, or volume 14. You know, we're level 4. We're, we're, we're standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with all the people who we used to look up to as like these amazing beacons of uh, ridiculous power and stuff like Liu and all that. And um, we're we're, we're holding our own, basically, right? That, that, that's where we are right now. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I have been Liz. This has been Kenshi. I've said this already. I hope to see you again next time.